and comfy because that's what we like and all blue my favorite color anywho let's carry on with the video edit the room first first oh. guys probably think I'm being crazy but for the last couple of days that pot was not there and someone has rightfully returned it so I'm happy I can make pasta shake it shake it hey <laughs> I'm getting too excited vlogging now anywho I'm obviously back in my room and I've got my food I did my washing it's all there drying but anyway I'm eating tortellini um, I never ate it before, um, but my friend Kira, shout out to you girl, um, basically um, introduced me to it. So this one has mushrooms in it. I put a little pesto sauce on top because we love a little pesto. And um, yeah, I'm going to eat that, watch some Wendy Williams and have a good old day. That was so delicious and so filling like wow my stomach is like thank you Patty for giving us a substantial meal um, today is the 12th of December um, and if you do not know um, it's election day in the UK um, I'm just starting to stress it's basically 8 o'clock now um, and that means there's two hours till the polls close. I'm just so stressed. I am so stressed. I am prepared for a Tory win, but I don't want one. I often don't talk about politics on my channel. Um, just because sometimes I feel like it's just a very bleak topic where you can have discussion and whatnot but at the end of the day you get to a point where you're like you feel a bit pessimistic and you feel like is there any hope I'm going to go to watch the um them counting the votes so I will be up but I want in the morning to be dancing with joy to go to bed happy to be restored in this country's like my belief in this country in politics and just to have more of an optimistic view on the world because for so long it's just been very bleak I'm sorry that this vlog took a, a sad turn for the worse, but um, I did tell you guys in my life update video that I wanted to keep things raw, real and relatable. And this is something which I think a lot of us do think, but haven't really spoke about. Um, but yeah, I think this is making me feel a bit better now and it has helped to some extent ease the stress just because I've been able to voice out my opinions and say what I need to say but um, I'm actually gonna do something which I do enjoy right now um, just because I don't think I can concentrate on my readings I'm gonna go edit some content and focus on some YouTube before I get very very upset Hey people, so um, I didn't get any like b-roll footage, but basically what I've just been doing is um, obviously, like I said, editing the vlog. Um, I'm really, I haven't done much 
<clears throat> they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never run. Oh, hell no! Anywho, I have been editing some footage. I'm going to stop for now just because I think my computer is a bit laggy. So, whenever I'm trying to play back the footage and then align it with the music, it's a bit. So, I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um, and then come back to it because that's what I've noticed with my computer. It's not the best with processing stuff. So it's half past nine. Um, I'm going to get ready, um, actually get changed because I am going to, like I said earlier, watch the elections. Um, there's half an hour till the votes close. Um, but yeah, so vote ends at 10 and then uh, we're just going to keep up with the, the results. So that will be my evening. Um, hopefully I can bring you along, but if not, don't worry. Um, you will definitely catch me tomorrow. But anyway, let me stop rambling because I have a problem doing that. I need to get changed and get ready. Deuce. As you can see, I have changed now. This is the outfit. We are sporting some red because go Labour. You know, hopefully wearing red will hopefully channel that Labour energy and God will give them the victory. Didn't do anything, any makeup really. Just filled in my eyebrows, um, did a little mascara for the lips and then obviously we pop in with that lip gloss. Fancy beauty, honey. Oh, the, the mirror is looking a bit, hmm. Might need to clean that later, but yeah. So that's it for the look. Um, I'm wearing the matching jogging bottoms, um, but I've been wearing them basically all day. I'm just gonna put my shoes on and then we'll be out this bitch. I don't wanna take off my comfy socks cause they're so damn comfy, but I don't think there'll be enough room for them inside my shoe. It's actually so annoying. <sighs> I guess it's time. Let's wear my grey socks then. So we can be pimping and matching with this grey ass hat. Grey and white. Lovely. I've been watching the um, election results so, so far. It's um, basically like nearly 3 a.m. And nothing really um, amazing thus far. Basically, exit poll told us Conservatives are most likely to win. Although the actual results thus far are saying that they were in the lead, I know from experience that most of the time when I go home or go to bed, you know, wake up in the morning, 
that the conservatives are basically in power. So I don't really try to go off on early um, election results. It's just, I'm very deflated right now. Currently in the toilet, <laughs> watching these election results in the common room, and I just, I just don't know. <sighs> this rate, I'm just, I, I literally don't know. I literally don't know. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go back um, with everyone else so that I don't have to cry in the toilets by myself. Um, that's the reason why I came out here, so that the election results, I could watch them with people. But, um, excuse the cold, it's literally just because it's cold out here, but, uh, yeah. I just wanted to let you know how I'm feeling. I wore red for labour, but it turns, we're going, turns out that we're going blue. It is six minutes past five in the morning and uh, we are now in a position to say that this election of 2019 formally has been won by the Conservatives. Most of you guys might not give two craps about politics, but um, I do. I am disappointed. I am disgusted. And I am ashamed of the UK political system. Of the rhetoric which has been used to enforce certain propaganda. I am ashamed of the rhetoric used to push the Brexit agenda. And I am just tired. I am sick and tired of all of this. I am sick and tired. I am just done. Absolutely done. And I don't know where we go from here. I, 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 I am, I just don't know. Guys, I am done. I am actually done. As one of my friends said, this election was personal. And I have taken it very personally. I just don't know what to do at this point. I've been so... <sighs> Fuck. I'm just sick and tired, guys. I'm just tired. I'm tired of having to fight. NHS which I've learned in my history classes which created something I learned about the birth of that beautiful structure that beautiful institution for a comp for a party to come and fuck that up I am angry I am frustrated and I'm annoyed. Hi people. Um, so basically it is eight o'clock in the evening. Yes, I know. You're probably thinking, Hadi, you've been sleeping all day. No, I haven't. I have been up. However, um, uh, 
So yesterday was election day in the UK and the result wasn't what I wanted. And so I've been quite upset. So I thought that it would just be better not to vlog, um, spend that time just really trying to um, process things. However, um, I did want to vlog now to let you know what's happening. I'm feeling a bit better, especially because me and my flat are going to do Secret Santa. And so I thought I would bring you along well, not bring you along to see for Santa per se, but maybe I might, um, but show you what's going on right now. Since I walked into the kitchen, the Christmas music was playing and it put me in a good mood. So um, yeah, please ignore the mess of my table, but uh, that's the wrapping paper. And so literally, I'll show you my gift. So it's some sweets some biscuits, um, some playing cards and a mini speaker, mini portable speaker. Um, I just wanted to get this because I felt like for my um, person, oh shit, you can't see me. Uh, but for my person, and I won't say who because the walls are very thin so someone could hear, but uh, they like to go out and party. And so I thought that uh, this is kind of like a party package. You get some snacks for when you get back from partying. You get your speaker to play some music. And if you already has one, well, this is a portable one. And uh, uh, it's, you can never have too many speakers. Sorry, that's what I want to say. And then playing cards because playing cards are always sick for, um, what's his name, pre's and stuff. But then also anything else and there's two sets so he has more options so full which is which is amazing um and then um one of my flatmates had the idea that we'd read a roast so basically i had to write a roast for the person and i'm kind of gassed about it still you know what i mean because uh, i wrote this real quick i was on the phone to nicole and uh so i didn't have much time to think i just went with the flow and this is what i got so it goes like this. Okay, I need to whisper his name so people don't hear. Right. My name is Jensen, but you can call me the ghost since I sometimes hang around. So today let's raise a toast because now you see me, but soon you probably won't since I'm probably getting drunk. Yeah, kids, I recommend that you don't. I'll miss another class because I love to give it a pass since give it a oh interesting this is good that i'm reading it out, out loud to you because mistakes because i live love to give it a pass since i'm usually too hungover i'm currently trying to get sober so if you ever see me around make sure not to shout because my head is still ringing and i'm starting to doubt whether drinking all this alcohol is what life is really about oh sick um but yeah so he's gonna read this out loud and then he has to guess who gave him the gift and obviously wrote the roast so uh, we'll see sometimes like i didn't know what to get him but you know when you're a bit attentive and you listen that to certain things this is why it's very important to be attentive and to observe because you hear certain things and you can play up to them but yeah i'm going to now struggle to um wrap this I haven't wrapped a gift in ages, so uh, please bear with me and don't judge me. Uh, maybe I should wrap each individually and then include it in one. No, that's, that's a waste, isn't it? Uh, right. So obviously the sweets in the middle. think of a cool way to like set it all up. It's weird because some of it is flat. The only thing which isn't is this. So it's gonna make it pop up like that. I'm gonna play the video on my laptop teaching me how to do this. Wish me good luck.
this is my <laughs> gift um it looks a lot better in the video but i'm quite proud it's a decent wrap um and i mean it, the only thing is it feels like there's so much fucking wrapping paper i feel bad i can't really do much about it now anywho at least i've wrapped this up now i can put the wrapping paper the rest of the wrapping paper back and return the um this and yeah hopefully soon enough it will be time to exchange gifts <laughs> <laughs> It's the most what? wonderful time oh, of my birthday. Woo! Ah, uh, the what? The last day week, um, in February, the yeah. first week. Yeah. I'm gonna take him. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> my guy. Okay, 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 okay. That's right. You give me. <laughs> Off of me, something that I couldn't see, but I think that we're meant to be. And you know me down to your tea, making time when I'm never free. Anything for your company, so much for keeping it low key. And I feel your touch on my skin, all my life, like where have you been? Feelings for you from deep within. I don't know if this is a sin, but you just take me to a place. I don't know if I can replace something that I cannot erase.